Good morning. Day 71. Ten point five miles to go today. To Snickers Gap. And Dad's picking us up. It's pretty exciting. Alrighty. Camp is broken down. So the hilarious thing is this person that got out of their tent was schlep. <laughs> that was funny. And she's already broken down, eating breakfast and on the trail ahead of us. But that's funny that it was schlep. All right, so let's get going. I'm coming. Roller coaster, here we come. Oh, so the description of today's trail is in point four, we start a thing called the roller coaster. And the description in the guidebook said a 14 mile stretch with steep ascents and descents and no views. <laughs> so, sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So we are going to do 10 miles of that roller coaster today. And then hopefully see Dad. We came up from that side trail from the Rod Hollow Shelter tent pad. And we are headed north. Oh, here we go. Steep. Get ready. Fourteen miles up. And I'm trying to capture the sound of the cicadas. So you probably hear some birds chirping. I'm going to be quiet in a second. And there's this like sound in the background. See if my phone picks it up or not. It sounds like, um, almost like sound waves or power lines, like. There's this humming, this like constant, I don't know how to describe it, but it's the cicadas. And this is pretty cool, this whole cicada thing, because apparently it's like every 17 years they come out of the ground. And so now is the time. So we're seeing all these holes along the trail um, that, they, that they come out of. And then we've seen them around. And they make this, they all make their noise. And it's like this constant ringing or humming that's going on. Sometimes it's louder. Like I said, I don't know if the phone's gonna pick it up or not, but. It almost sounds like a siren, like in the distance. It sounds like a police car siren in the distance, doesn't it?
guys. How we doing? So here we are standing, and we are currently at mile 999.9. About to cross into a thousand. Wee hoo! Wee hoo! We've gone 1,000 miles from Springer Mountain. This is pretty cool. We're gonna fill up here? All right, I need to as well. One thousand miles, baby. Is there a tree? Good job, boys. Woo woo. Okay, so here's a cicada. Cicada, cicada, I don't know. Um, I was wondering how in the world they got out of the ground because they come out of these holes here, back like up. right there. Oh, there's one, yep. So they come out of these holes, which are all over the trail, but this is like super hard packed mud. So I wondered if they had like a drill or a saw type thing on their teeth. Doesn't appear so to, to drill out that hole to come out, but I'm not sure. So that's something that we should look up and find out about, but these guys are interesting. And they sure do make a lot of noise when they all get together. Um, and so, yeah, I want to find out. And I'm also curious, how do bugs know, when bugs are in the ground, how do they know which way's up? How do they know, like, where, which way to drill or dig? It's another thing to research. Well, some might come up in China. <laughs> all right, let's get moving. Okay, the other cicada question we had, and there's one there, um, was there, I said their wings must not be out until after they emerge from the ground because obviously they would get. And so here we have what we believe, without doing any research yet, we believe this is the exoskeleton. So we think that they emerge out of the ground like this then they shed this thing. Let me see. Okay, this is, um, oops. Oh, yeah, there's another one on the ground. Okay, so hold on. This is not, I'm not picking up a bug. It's just the skeleton. See, where is it? Okay, whoops, there it is. Okay, so this is not a bug I'm holding. This is just the, what I'm calling an exoskeleton. I don't even know if that's accurate. Basically, we believe that they, just like a dragonfly does, they come out, they shed this, and come out of this. And then, we think their wings emerge. Guys, how are you guys doing, all right? Good, yeah. A little lost up there, there's a turn. Okay, quick roller coaster update. Which climb is this? Thing number five. We think this might be five of how many? Ten? Five of ten, but of eight for us today. Okay. And what do we think? It's tough. Piece of cake? It's tough. <laughs> yeah. Ash, is this roller coaster living up to its name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are, uh, there was some nice, you get a nice little flat reprieve, and then it is steep. Then you go down. Maybe get a break for a few minutes, and then it's steep again. So these are the Bears Den rocks. There's a hostel up here, and we're not far from the parking area.
This 10 mile stretch has been no joke. This roller coaster. Technically, it's not over there four miles to go, but we're getting off in about three tenths to four tenths of a mile. We're gonna get off and take our break with Dad and get back on, finish those four miles on Sunday. So, we're getting closer. But it has been a tough stretch. I think we all agreed on that one. We need to go, yeah, we have to cross this. We have to go down this way and then cross this road. See the blaze? But let's check this sign real quick. Okay, go ahead. Just stop in the middle. Hold on. Okay. I don't know. Is this the parking lot? This is where he's supposed to be meeting us. I don't see him. Are you kidding me? He must have gone in another way. Here he comes. I have to break those down. <laughs> Thanks for the wipes, Dad. And what's this? What <laughs> is this? Treat. Oh my God. Best treat. day of my life. <laughs> like a hockey locker room. Do we stink with like, it? Yeah, this is like. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not like last time. It's gotten hot. Oh, I bet. Oh, I see. Hot. 